Hello and welcome back, everyone. I'm David with Agricultural Economic Insights, joining you for another chart of the week. This week, we're talking and thinking about the USDA NASA's county level acreage and yield estimates for corn and soybeans. Those data came out in May. But as you will remember, there was this sort of off again, on again conversation. A year ago, they said they definitely weren't going to be releasing these county level production estimates ever again. And then uh, luckily, they came out a few months ago and said, yeah, we actually are going to release those days. But we took a look at that and we found some coverage issues. I think users of this data are going to start to find and, and recognize. And we want to highlight that and talk a little bit about how we're dealing with that at AEI. So the first chart here looks at corn. This is the USDA county acreage estimate. And what, what we looked at here is how many acres have been allocated to a county and how many total acres were there. And you can see that we look back 10 or so years ago, it was hanging out around 90%. There's a, a change in the way they were doing things uh, before then. So we had we were at 95%, we dropped down to around 90%. 2019, things got a little hairy with that prevent plant, but we got back um, <clears throat> back around that 90% threshold. But as you can see in 2024, we stepped down all the way to 73%. So what this tells us is that only 73% of the national corn acres got allocated to a county. Um, those that weren't allocated, the remaining um, 20 plus 5 percent, um, those were reported as an other or combined county. And that came to about 24 million corn acres that year. So a lot of acres are not allocated. And I think what's really important is there's this sort of single year where where are these acres going in a single year? But there's also a multiple year. We talked about this in the article. I encourage you to read it. But this chart has a lot of different colors going on to it. This is the chart between 2012 and 2024. Uh, the green counties are the counties that have a complete data set. So they have all uh, all their years of data available. The yellow counties are missing between one and five observations. That means probably a data user can still find the trends, the general patterns that are going on in these regions. You can tell, you know, in South Dakota, there's just big holes uh, in this data set, even in Kansas. Um, in parts of Missouri, I think Missouri is probably the surprise. Missouri has a lot of corn acres. We have big holes there. And then, of course, the red is those who have missing more than five years of data. And so these are the really big hole. Data users probably aren't able to meaningfully use these data uh, for decision making. I think there's a couple of ways this comes into play. First, thinking about the size of a market, especially if you're a regional agribusiness or you're a national agribusiness that's broken your markets down into territories or segments. Um, or geographies. And I think the other thing is thinking about the market share. So how many acres uh, were in my county? I think it's even going to be a surprise to observers just how many holes and gaps you will see even in a state like Iowa or Illinois or Indiana. So this is a frustration for a lot of data users. We've been thinking about this a lot of AEI. We've been figuring out ways to um, create estimates that are maybe a little more timely, uh, estimates that maybe have more coverage. So we're going to fill in all those gaps and even add a few more counties. The USDA estimated corn acres around across 1,200 acres in 2024, and we're going to be able to take that to 2,700. So we are using those for our internal, internal purposes. And now I think there's a way for us to offer those to agribusinesses and data users who uh, need a similar level of insights for their own operation. So I encourage you to read the article Check out our uh, page that talks more about that specific offering. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Until next time, stay curious.